Hello everyone, welcome to my third uh, After Effects video tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to take a look at the slit scan effect. As seen here. As you can see, quite a cool effect. Kick the PJ has used this a lot in his earlier videos. Let's see how to set this up ourselves. It's quite simple as you will see. Let's go make a new project. Take our footage and drag it into a new composition. Okay, now set the in and out points by dragging the layer until yours truly comes into view. That's right here. Let's see where I exit stage right. And that's about here. Type ALT and bracket to set the endpoint. Drag the end of your composition. Holding down SHIFT, you snap it into place. Right click on your work area and choose Trim Comp to Work Area. Okay. Now our composition is set up and we can start. All we need for this is a gradient layer and the time displacement effect. So first we're going to make the gradient layer. Go to layer, new solid. Make sure it's comp size. The color doesn't really matter. Call it a gradient and click OK. Let's put a ramp effect on this. Go to effect, generate, ramp. Okay, and there we have it. Now we need to pre-compose this layer. Therefore select it, go to layer, at the bottom here pre-compose. Make sure move all attributes into new composition is checked on. And click OK. Now drag this composition to the bottom position and turn the layer off. Okay. Now we need to put the time displacement effect on our video. So go to effects, time, time displacement. As you can see in itself, this is already a pretty cool look, pretty weird. I'm going to turn the sound off here. Somehow reminds me of Predator. Okay, but this is not the look we're after. Uh, for time displacement layer, choose your uh, gradient precomp. Okay. Now set the maximum displacement time to around about 3 seconds. Yeah, this will do. And turn up the time resolution a little. To about 100. This helps the uh, anti-aliasing a bit, but... Uh, we can't get the resolution much better than this. So let's see what we have so far. Do a little RAM preview. This looks quite cool. Et voilà. Now the gradient determines which part of the person comes into view first. As you can see we have white at the bottom here and black at the top. If we turn this around like this Okay. The effect is reversed. I think I need to clean my uh, memory cache before I do this change anyway. Let's set it as it was. 
There it is. Alright, that concludes this little tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. There's more After Effects tutorials to come in the near future. Um, well, thank you for watching. And until the next time.